Stain tag. <laughs> you took your armor All off right. too. Yeah. Too hot. Yeah, at I want to be comfortable. <laughs> want to be comfortable. You know. Uh. <clears throat> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the, uh, I guess, my Let's Play Modded Minecraft slash Blocktopius. Um, in theory, I guess, my Blocktopius uh, Let's Play. A lot of, lot of setup, I think, before we can actually really get into it. But um, hopefully, once the setup is all done or whatever, we can go through each of the cities and um, kind of blast through them, no problem. But uh, Brando has joined the server. He's over Hello. here <laughs> fishing. Um, and he's done some work at the house um, to get us the materials that I was struggling to get, <laughs> to, to say the yeah. least. And um, he had a he had an experience with uh, Guardian <laughs> Temple uh, that, <laughs> that did not work out well for him. No. And uh, apparently in this uh, mod pack, uh, the Guardian Temples, they're actually um, protected. The blocks are protected. So you can't yeah. you can't break the blocks until you kill the Elder Guardian. Yeah. It gives you a very obvious warning saying, hey, if you're going to come over here, be careful because you're not going to be able to break anything until you kill it. Yeah. And that includes graves, apparently. <laughs> yeah, so we have that... Um, graveyard mod or gravestone mod rather and uh yeah brando uh you know bit the dust over there and his equipment is still in the ocean uh yep. somewhere um but that's not what we're gonna do today today we're we're working on um a mob farm or or maybe even two different ones um, hopefully yeah because uh like i told everybody in the last episode i prepared a cardboard box because i want to go to the nether to um go grab a blaze spawner and brando has the thing for us to get the uh yeah it's not called cursed earth it's uh, uh I, I it don't is know. called <laughs> dreadful dirt oh you actually remembered okay good oh, for you <laughs> i'm definitely remembering by looking at it directly yes um, <laughs> with my brain uh yep. no i just had mob grinding utilities still up from when i was looking well, at what fair we enough needed. fair enough yeah, so we have a we have an issue. We don't have enough ender pearls um, to get all the wireless things that we want. So we want to set up a mob no. farm so we can get wireless power and wireless like uh, like ender tanks and chests and stuff. All that would be very yes. helpful. Um, because uh, if we yeah, we should just go back and show them all the things that you did. <laughs> um, My disgustingly messy <laughs> over the top stuff yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because you know function first then beauty second you're okay fair enough yeah um so real quick brando also set up uh an enchanting area which is great because i've been meaning to do that and so i i made myself a new set of diamond armor because we are flush with diamonds now <laughs> um and if we're going back into the nether i want to make sure that uh I'm at least a little bit better protected than last time. Um, yeah. And then there's a couple <laughs> more machines, too. I see we got the Osmium Compressor, which I think we needed for the Refined Obsidian, right? Yes. Yeah. No, um, no, no. I'm sorry. No. Is it just like the like pure force we... enriching factory and the, the infuser? Infusing the, inf in the infuser. No, wait. Yes. Yeah. No, Me yeah. The infuser. infuser. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then you've been going nuts with laser I.O. Yeah, so like your original setup, which was smart, was having the machines feed into each other, which is good, but it didn't apply to everything. So the current setup is not finished because we didn't have like deep slate iron and whatnot, sure. which I need to filter. But theoretically speaking, Anything you throw into that iron chest now will automatically get processed. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was moving lemon and then <laughs> I started killing him. So uh, <laughs> I just wanted to see what you're what you're pointing at. Uh, continue. So anything you throw into that iron chest, theoretically speaking, will go into the appropriate processor now. So um, lapis instead of going not going anywhere will go into the mechanical squeezer and things like. Um, 
silver, which I don't think can be purified, yes. will go to the enriching factory instead and turn it to dust and then go into the smelting factory and come out to the diamond chest. Does that double it? Yes. Okay. So it'll right. it'll double the silver um, into powder, and then the powder gets smelted into bars, and then that's right. the end. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I know. Th I knew that was the issue from the get go. I just didn't know which mods needed to go anywhere, so that's why I just yep. like would dump it. Um, yep. But I I think I'm pretty sure I showed everybody that yeah, like not everything can be processed the same way, and that the enriching factory is actually usually the only thing that some right. mods can go into uh, like right. diamonds and redstone and coal, all that stuff. But the thing with like coal, coal will, uh, will go into a smelting factory too and become yeah. carbon ingots. So um, yeah, you know, yeah. but this is uh, this is not bad. So uh, laser IO is just a fancy way of moving items around um, via laser. <laughs> yeah. I haven't yeah. messed with it personally yet. Um, but I know that what you, you, you click on it and you just choose the tab that you want to access yep. or like what side of the block. Yep. So the downside here has two item cards. Yep. And I assume green is insert and red is, uh, extract. Uh, extract. Yep. And if you just right click on the card, it'll show you if there's a filter in it or you can change the functionality of the card itself. So you can have two um for whatever reason if you want to have two inserts or two or more um extractors you know so it's just like it's a multifunctional for one block placement gotcha and i see that there is a priority thing too which yep. is good yep and you can also use the same face for different um inputs or outputs so he implemented both power as well as liquids which I haven't tri tried uh, power yet. I don't know how that works, but it's good for liquids because you can have all of that happen from one spot, just like Ender IO. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's great. Which yeah, when he said that he did this to uh, theoretically like assist people that you know miss Ender IO, I was like, oh yes, please, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, did I put that wrong? I yeah. did put that. wrong. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these blocks are a little sensitive to their orientations. Yeah. Um, but this is even half of what Brando has done. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> if you want to take that, us that, downstairs. Yeah, that happened after we, we got the, the supplies. and Okay, so the first thing I did yesterday was we needed power because I was dying without power. <laughs> Yeah, Hello, <laughs> my power was just to get us up and going um, to like refill like my little gadgets and stuff. Um, but it was not going to be sustainable without some sort of wireless technology. Yeah. Like theoretically, you can expand magmatic dynamos infinitely if you have a source of lava and you can upgrade them so they output more power and stuff like that. But it's still kind of beginner tier. Yes, yes. Um, and go ahead. My my plan was just like mechanism has like a mid tier energy source that is just not that's easy, but it's accessible for mi the beginning. So I just figure, forget about it. Let's just work on this, and then we'll we'll um we'll go from there. And yeah, so I built this setup over here, <laughs> which <laughs> it it's it's a mess. Like I I did originally test it in a test world, but while I'm familiar with how it's set up, I wasn't familiar with how it would interact with laser IO. Right. So like it it just kind of became a this mess here. Right, and just so people who are watching who may be looking at this thinking, like, what is this, like, <laughs> insane setup of just different blocks and tubes and wires and lasers and stuff, just know I came on not even, like, a half hour ago, saw all this, and I even I was like, what the heck is even going <laughs> on here? I get the general gist of it. We're growing melons. We're turning those melons into biofuel. Uh, mm -hmm. right here we use that biofuel in 
the pressurized reaction chamber here, which turns it, it into hydrogen and no, that's it. No. Oh, it, it needs it, it needs it, it oh. needs hydrogen. Yeah. Right. It needs water and hydrogen and biofuel and that turns it into ethylene. Yep. And ethylene is what we're using as fuel. Yeah. And, and so these gas burning generators all get filled with ethylene. You can see they're yeah. maxed out. Yeah. Um and they produce 11.2 thousand RF a tick. Something More than that. To that degree. Four yeah, and a half thousand. Yeah. Right. Okay. And we have four of those generators. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay. So I was telling Dwight this and I, I like when I, mechanism works in a ratio so one machine can sometimes supply two machines. Those two machines can then supply four machines and so on and so forth. So I went and researched on like how sustainable the system was. So theoretically speaking, one place for growing melons with one crushing factory, one sawmill, and then it goes into this area over here, which is the separator. And that goes to the reaction chamber. So there's one of each of those machines. And according to the math that someone did on Reddit, the, all those machines will supply four... 100 and, yeah. Yeah. These those machines will yeah. supply 128 of these gas burning generators. <laughs> and each one of these produces 4 and a half thousand it, I I think well these ones say 600. This one well, says 11,000. It yeah. I, I think I, it, I, I, what it's probably oh wait are some of these upgraded maybe no they're not no they're no, no they're not they're yeah okay so that number is probably based off of the last time it was on that, at, the at last time it was on yeah yeah gotcha so wow. yeah i mean theoretically speaking we could have a stack of this going through to the sky and every <laughs> all the other machines would be perfectly fine with that <laughs> That's uh, that's hilarious. I think that might be uh, we might need to put that on a list of just like crazy stuff to do just because. <laughs> yeah. Like an entire either an entire room. Um, yeah. <laughs> or, or yeah, like a giant pillar of power or something. You know. Yeah. I think that the pillar might be a little bit worse just because of the all the pressurized tubes and everything that we need to go with it. But. Oh yeah! No, absolutely. But. It, it, Funny it idea. could be a, an end game plan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's all great. And uh, for people who are familiar with mods, and uh, actually, real quick, let me just show you the um, the system because I said that our resource problem is pretty much solved for for the majority of it. You can see now that we have about a thousand ingots of iron, um, about a thousand osmium. Uh, if we just look up ingot here, you can see that we have pretty decent amounts of all that stuff. I made diamond armor because we had 240 diamonds. Um, emeralds, we have 70 of. I don't think Brando probably was looking for emeralds, but they, they're Not pretty rare anyways. Yeah. Uh, a decent amount of redstone. In fact, we probably need to upgrade some of the drawers if we're going to keep using those. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody might be thinking, it's like, well, wow, that's a whole bunch. <laughs> um, like, uh, surely you're you're done or whatever, but Brando hasn't even processed these two chests here, <laughs> which are full of other ores. Like we we're not even close to have those aren't even the no real numbers because you guys got to remember that each one of these, like a lot of the the base ones, like this one copper ore is going to become three bars. You know, so whatever uh -huh. you're seeing here, a lot of this is going to be tripled. You know, a lot of stuff like the diamond ore here. Um, can't necessarily be tripled, but like going into a mechanical squeezer, we can at least get two with the chance of getting a third. Uh, in the enrichment chamber, we can double it. Um, so yeah, that's set to be filtered up top right into the mechanical squeezer. We just yes. don't, it can't be pulled out of the machine just yet. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't interact with laser IO. Like, it doesn't like it. But yeah. Yes. Um, so the way that he got all that stuff is by this thing called a digital miner, which was on my my list of things is like once we get that, then our resources problems are solved because this thing um, 
if I turn on the visuals here and go outside, this whole like gray cube <laughs> that's around here, that extends all the way to the bottom. I think it's 380 blocks or something like that. The distance. Yeah, three something. 319. Three nine, three, yeah. yeah. Um, it is looking in that entire area there for all of these ores. And uh, you can tag it via filter. So you can just look up a filter like ore. Um, and it can find all of these blocks in a list. So when you turn it on, uh, which I'm sure you probably have stripped this area already, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So this, the, that whole, that whole uh, distance that you guys saw with the, the gray outline and everything, it has been completely stripped of all of those things. But we can't move this because we need the power. And right now our power is limited to just here. Um, yeah. And for us uh, to power this thing, which requires 172,000 RF a tick, and there's 20 ticks in a second, that's 3.4 million RF a second <laughs> that this yeah. thing is on. Um, and for us to sustain that right now, it needs to be hardwired in. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you said that the power didn't even fluctuate. Like it was, no. it was fine. It was absolutely solid. It there was like I couldn't feed it any more energy and it it, it would care, you know. That's <laughs> mind blowing. Yeah. Um so for us to keep that going, we need a really hefty wireless network, which I think our best bet best bet is to do flux network because it's technically scalable. Yeah. Uh because it becomes a multi block. Um and you can have different points of output and all that stuff. So for us to get into flux networks, we need um, we need ender pearls and yeah. probably a pretty decent amount of them, if I had to guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's where the mob farm comes back in. And we need blaze rods for the same reason, for like ender tanks and everything else that needs blaze. So all that, that goodness. Yeah. So we need to go to the nether. Uh, after a quick nap in the basement. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to go there and just grab a, a, a spawner and then come back and then create uh, some sort of like dual chamber. Uh, actually, you know what? We could just do a single chamber because we could put the blaze spawner in the air and the dirt below could be the um dreadful dirt right yeah okay we could but we wouldn't be able to turn off the spawner that's true so it probably would be better just to have two different rooms it's not that much yeah. more difficult no um what did i want i wanted to do something uh a shield shield would be good yeah i'll just grab one of the this bog standard shields here uh, can I upgrade it? I can. How how is that heavy plated shield that you and Saj always use? Uh, it's I. It doesn't show you the durability, but it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of protection, but the uh, durability is higher. I think. Yeah, it doesn't even say a durability at all. Does it have a durability no. bar? It does. It does. Okay. Um, steel plates. How much steel do we have? Oh, we got enough steel. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, helpful if I spell plate right. Just need an engineering's hammer. Engineer. There should hammer. be one in there. Yeah. Apparently there wasn't. Oh, uh, it doesn't. Uh, for whatever reason, those recipes don't. It, oh. it specifies NBT. So. Gotcha. Yep. Well, we got two in there. That's fine. Uh, and then this shield. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And you <laughs> can kind of see through it. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's go steal a, a blaze spawner. 